So, hello and welcome everyone to the Fireside Gathering Brawl 2017 semi-final, semi -final, third place match, actually, between Rome and Moscow. That's it. I'm looking right now if everything is okay because I'm doing this today alone. Half my team is in their um, holiday time, half my team is in their... Um, 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 exam time, the others are working and actually we recently built the studio already back to one person um, so I would have to switch the whole room around for uh, these matches so that's why I'm doing them alone today. Um, right now the players are preparing themselves um, we're gonna take a look at the whole tournament in a second I'll Right now I'm um, administrating the whole match, getting everything ready. Um, it's the way. I don't know if you watched the other matches, so that's why I'll explain the whole settings for the tournament. Um, we play three versus three between two locations. Actually, the whole tournament were fires and gatherings, 15, um, where three players played and everyone else was watching or participating in side events or, um, or stuff of that kind. And we played the whole tournament on the day, but uh, since Moscow is two hours in another time zone, so, so they are in general major time plus three, I think, um, they had to stop at their midnight, so at 10 or yeah, at 10 in, in, in Germany. Um, that's why mm, I need to paste this code to the locations. Um, that's why we had to delay the matches. And now we are playing it. Actually, now the players are playing from home. Not from the locations, because for one match we didn't want them to to make them um, move back to the locations. Rules are pretty simple. All three matches are played at the same time. The players um, themselves are allowed to communicate, do whatever they want. Just one person is allowed to use the computer, so I have to play it here myself. And no one else may use my mouse, my keyboard, anything. But I'm allowed to talk to my teammates. Audience is not allowed to talk to them. Um, so these are the rules about the whole thing. Let's see if I have the brackets somewhere here. No, I don't have. Um, bad, bad, bad prepared. Sad is what Trump would say. Need to check what Moscow is saying. I'm communi communicating with... The locations right now, ooh, they need <laughs> they need the link to the deck list. Um, I will send it to them in a second. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's the problem with doing this alone. Talking with you guys and talking to them, one with a mouth, one with a hand. That's not always working good, but we are trying everything. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. so. Where is Moscow? There they are. <laughs> da, 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 da. Where is the deck lists? There is it. So, um, right now, the players are they're blind picking their order of players. So, there are three players. They are just telling me the order of the players. And this matches them against each other. So, now they look at the deck lists and look at the decks of the others who they are matched against. And picking their buns for the matches to come and we will pick one match and watch that on stream the winner of the whole thing that's what i wanted to check right now i right now don't actually know the money price for the spot i think it's 60 euro but let me check um it's a post i did so i can just look at my post and um, they get money and they get a cool goodie pack from a well goodie pack, actually gear pack from Rocat, our main sponsor for the tournament. Rocat. So where are my posts? There are my posts. Fireside getting brought survival bread. That is, and the first place gets fifty euro. So divided by three players, it's it's a nice treat. It's not the biggest prize, but it's cool. 
At least we think so. So, but they get a cool Rocad gear pack. I want to talk about that. We did not at all talk to anyone about it until now because it uh, arrived two days after the event. Unfortunately, otherwise we would already have it featured on the stream. But I'm right now, actually, I'm sitting in front of it. Behind this screen, there are boxes and boxes and boxes because nine players, so the first player's first spot, the second spot and the third spot, everyone in these three spots gets the same things. But we really ni like them. So right now, not yet on screen. Oh, a bit on screen. Here they are. Right, hello, my hand. Oh, nice. I just exactly on the ground okay so let's have a look at what the winners of this match all three players will get okay that was one question need to answer that so let's have a look at first the mouse pad rocket kanga i have no I, I don't have a kanga right now here um here, it's a small mouse pad. It's actually for half stone players, I think we uh, you want portable stuff because fire side gatherings and everything are small things. So we aim for the small stuff that you can grab around. So you won't expect like the, the gaming keyboard in this size or something or an extra need in this size or something. So it's just the, the mobile ge gear that we got. So it's um, 32 times 27 centimeters. That's big enough for gaming general not for like big shooters or something if you're playing on high level with low dpi but that's cool um yeah so we have the rocket kanga you have you, you could, could touch it here the the surface of it <laughs> it's a neat thing um cool so if you've got a mouse pad you actually of course need a mouse the rocket lua um that's a very basic mouse it has a 2000 dpi sensor there are the buns, very good. Um, 2000 dpi sensor, it uh, can go from 250 to 2000. That's actually very good. Um, and it, it has a good grip, it's a small mouse. Actually, this is a box, but I also have one for myself. Um, so you see it here, it's a small mouse. It's, when you have it in the hand, it's, it's rather small, really. But it's it's portable, that's a good thing. If you have, like, if you look at our streaming computer, we have here the big Rocket Cone XTD. You don't want to have this for gaming, for, uh, for for mobile gaming. You want a small one. Uh, a wireless would be cool too, but this is wired. It's also uh, sometimes better because it can lose its battery. Uh, 200 to 250 DPI to 2000 is very decent, I think. Um, I actually don't know if anybody of you plays with over 2000 um, DPI. We don't. Mazuru HS is now auto-hosting you. Thank you, Mazuru. Okay, and as the third thing to the mouse, the mouse pad, um, Rocket manufactures headsets. So we got a headset for everyone. A Rocket Ranga headset. It's an open designed headset. Uh, we actually own one too. I think we had one for the HCTs last year. Hello, Dr. Rocky. And uh, yeah, it's an open designed headset. So you have the whole noise from around you. Not optimal for half stone, but maybe for a bar better because you don't want to go to a fireside gathering something and uh, put on your your headphones and don't listen and don't hear any anybody anymore unless it's really competitive for that case it's not the most suited but it's really cool if you want to have the surrounding uh, yeah, if you want to stay aware to your surrounding so headset mouse mouse pad for everyone so i have nine mouse pads here nine mice here and Actually, let me take a sip of water. Uh, and nine headsets over there. So, mm, we have some bands in. Let's see if here is no. Not everyone has banned yet. So I'll just. Whoop! -dip. There, the Skype messages are coming with the bands. I'm taking my laptop over here. So. I can look you into the eyes while I'm typing a bit. Um, I will now, let's check and put this. So he buns, actually my memory for something like that is really, really bad. So I, I take a look at it, see priest. Then I switch to the exit table to fill everything in and I've already forgotten that it's priest. 
here we have a warrior ban. Not a shaman ban yet. That's okay. Um, if you want to have a look at the table from the whole tournament and everything, just in the Skype chat, auto hosts or on challenge, there's a link. Uh, you can also go to FSG Brawl dot barcraft minus hl dot de that's our main page for the event or you can go to liquipedia where you can also have a look at our um tournament i think it should be rather actual it's, it's managed by the community the first time this time we didn't do it so i don't actually know um how how much information is there but feel free to fill any information in liquipedia is the best source for esports information as far as i think um so it would be nice if you would help us with um, um, um. oh they already what did this sorry okay he did it this way all right we have our standard uh standard method of uh, reporting to the locations but every location types it uh, a different way so location A just told me person A is banning this and the other said we are banning this of person A. So I just need to do some transfer in my mind uh, to actually fill this correct in. Otherwise the look uh, players will get wrong bans and then there will be complaints and it will be my, my fault and I'm going to cry. And that's not good because I'm built in, in furniture right here so I will cry on, scre on stream. That's not good. So... And there's a ban. So we are still waiting for two more bans, I think. Yes. And I will just now decide who we are streaming. I need to check my battle tag for that. Um, we will stream this one. So, and then we can maybe have a look at the deck lists if I'm not too incompetent to add them to the stream. Like this, okay. Um, actually, this, this the whole saying scenes here are built by Kanzler the last time. So I may just do a small smidge. These up there are some impressions from the Pfizer Gathering Brawl which happened two weeks ago. So, have a nice look at it. I, I I really love the falls. There there are some. Every location is unique. Every location has its unique settings. And uh, whenever I was actually sitting like behind this galaxy of stars <laughs> behind this wall um, in the administration the last time and just managing the communication between the locations and uh, resolving problems and managing only the spectation of the game. And every time I just looked into the stream and I just saw these pictures that uh, Kanzler added into the picture and I, I just I just felt overwhelmed that we we together these 15 locations and our administration, so these 16 locations, made it possible that volunteers make this event. So up there are, right now there are the casters. There's Kanzler actually, um, who did a tremendous job for the event and, and with the whole scenes and settings and everything. And uh, Typhon Hawk and Nivo are there now too. That's cool. It was a really, really good event. Also, actually, big shout out to Rocket and El Meltdown. Cannot stress it enough. They um, yeah, they paid for the whole event. The whole prize pool is sponsored by them and by us, by Backcraft HL, but most part by them. So still needing, I still need the bands from two players. Oh, maybe just one now. Okay, two players are still needing some time and actually the players I wanted to spectate, so that will need some seconds. Ah, and there's the first chairman ban. <laughs> oh no, I said on stream that a shaman is banned of some player. Hmm, who will it be? We don't know. 
And I already forget how fun it is. Okay, he bans it, so it's his. No, oh, don't need to change anything. Right. Okay. And he is adding me too. Okay, so actually the two players added me already. We are almost set to go into the games. So I'm going to open the deck list for myself. And I need to configure the spectator interface, by the way. We have this one. And this is Rome. And I want to have this one. Nice. That's looking good. Here we have some deck lists. Okay, so... Oh, don't want to move the game, sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yes, there is. Players asking me if there is delay uh, on the stream. There is delay on the stream. Three minutes or something, that will be enough. And there's the last one. Okay, so I can now... That's banned, that's banned, that's banned. Yeah, that's great. Now I can tell the locations what is banned for them. And then the locations themselves can start the matches. And we can go into the game as soon as possible. So I can put my laptop away, actually, right after I switch the stream layout. Ooh. Okay, we have four ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. game for the fireplace for Moscow. We will see Alex MM, who plays. Ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Thank you, Windows, for this beautiful, shitty overlay. Uh, he plays a Warlock. That is a Warrior. I think, yeah, I can read, but that's a Warrior. He plays a Rogue. And he plays a Shaman. And Band was. XMM lost his shaman. And on the other side of the arena, for Rome, the Red Star, I think, Red Star Gaming, where actually it was also a location for the um, HCT just last weekend, we have in the other corner, what's his opponent? Do, 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 do. Elegant. Who plays? Is that it? No, I need his deck lists. Oh, what's that? It's a warlock. Then we have a warrior. They did not just start yet. No. I will tell you. No. So not that this player start without us, that would be bad. Um, he has a Warlock, a Warrior, then the third one, I see Preparation, so that's a Rogue. And the last one is... Put it in the right direction, it's good, a Shaman. And I think the Shaman was banned. Where is Shaman? There is Shaman. Oh no, it wasn't right. No, his Warlock is banned. So... Let's see if everything looks good for the stream. Not too bad, need to change something, but that's fine with us. Um, if I look at the screen, hello, Psycho, hello, Leo Lockhead. And we are actually ready to play, I think. Okay, so we telling the players, go, go. Go, go, you can start. And the overlay is done. I'm so good at this. <laughs> and need to change this a bit because his name is too long, this wise. So let's try to make moss out of it. Okay, preparing to battle with a friend. It says on the player's side. We can already switch to the game overlay. 
we can put up some game sound. Ting! Let's put this away. Okay. So, you can see it on that side, I think. Yeah, that is. We have we will have Elegant on the downside. I need to spectate him first. Yoda, spectate him first. And we have Alex MM on the upper one. It's a best of five. We have Warrior, Rogue, Druid against Warrior, Druid, Rogue. Uh, Shaman Rogue. Sorry for that. Um, yeah. We're going to see how this will work out for the players. Um, I also put the deck lists up for myself. No deck list for you folks. Sorry for that. And the players did not start yet, so they will most likely start in a second. But dum but how are you guys? Actually, write something in the chat. I don't know anything what's going on there. Um, with three minutes delay, that's bad from the conversation, but let's do it like in the 90s. Just write something and I'll react to it. Counselor, I think, is in the chat right now. And the players started their match. So we are tapping in and see what their first picks are. And we are seeing Elegant using his Shaman against LXMM with his Warlock. And let's have a quick look at the decks of the players for myself. Elegant's Shaman. Yeah, that's just Patches, the normal aggro Shaman that we are used to from Ladder, I think. With some Jades, yeah, it's looking pretty standard. And the Warlock on the other side is a Reno Warlock, right? Who is it? The, yeah, that is. So we see the small kind of book in here, and he brings patches on the field, and he's in charge now. So, big question here is, will Elegant do enough damage in time to bring um, LXMM down before he gets, uh, gets the field ready for himself? Uh, it's not a too bad start for Elegant with Finley Merkel. Mm, okay, turn two, only a totem. Turn three, he has his Ferris Spirits. Turn four, he has the five mana seven seven. If he doesn't play the Ferris Spirit, we see that. But uh, the Taunt is already a not too bad counter. But we see on the other side the Lever Burst, or he's going for a Spirit Claws. What will he do? Okay, he's going for Sin Finley. And will of course take the hunter ability, put out the spirit claws, and will clean with lightning bolt face and patches. But we see on the other side already ready. What will he do? Demon wrath. Yes. Mortal call the last minion, and he has also the possibility of destroying a weapon. Does we, do we have another weapon for the warlock on the in the deck? I think there must be the spirit clause. Only one spirit claw is played, but the jade clause of course of clause two. Yeah, but there it is. Say hello to the five mana seven seven. And on the other side of the board, we don't have very much that can counter it. But oh. And it's gone. Not the best for a uh, shaman who actually now has lost some tempo. Um, only can play Ferris Spirit this turn. But with the Flame Tongue Totem and the Lava Burst, he can still clean something. But we're already in turn 5 and the shaman is still on 20 hit points. The Acidic Swamp takes care of that weapon. And he puts a Bran out. What do we have? Does he have something with a good... This one actually, let's see. Okay, it's only Reno. Uh, okay, he does not have much on the field that um, works with the brand, so he just sacrifices him to get some time. What does he have actually for? Okay, well, there are many use cases for brand, of course. Um, but in this case, he is just there to get killed. But still, 15 hit points. Reno Jackson on his hand. 
So he's not in a too bad position. If he now plays the dirty red, he will get a big taunt minion on the field for nothing. But he goes for the Emperor. Thinks that he cannot get killed in the next turn. And he is right. 600 points and on the field are 7 damage. With the Hunter ability we are on 9 damage. With the Lever Burst we are on 14 damage. If he gets a Spell Tongue Totem out, he will be on 1 hit point. But of course, Elegant can draw a card. So maybe we will see a Flame Tongue Totem. Okay, now we have... That should be lethal. Or is this a Flame Lava Burst? Can you play it on? Yeah. Flame Tongue does 4 additional damage. So we have 8 plus 3. Plus, yeah, 8 plus 3. That's enough. The first match goes to Rome. And as we play Conquest, that means that the Shaman of our Rome player will get eliminated from this match. And Elegant has lost his Shaman, but is one ahead. That's looking good. Hmm, change scene. In the chat, someone is writing, change the scene. I don't know what. I had the right scene there. How can I cancel a call? I oh, like that. Hmm. Don't see anything in the chat that I'm wrong, so we are fine. So the players are picking their next matches. And let's see. For the second match, for the third place of the Fireside Gathering Brawl 2017, third place match, sponsored by Meltdown up there. If you want to open a bar, that's awesome and that's eSport. Just Go on that side. And we see Warrior against Warrior. We see a mirror. Are those the same kinds of Warrior? Does look like it. No, not exactly. Um, Elegant is playing with our Leroy. On the other side, we have Alex MM with the Leroy Jenkins in the deck. But the rest is rather normal. So let's see what the start is. Both players don't have patches on the starting hand. That's actually pretty good. And we see a Fire Ward X on board. That's of course for the second turn very good. Um, Edigan can only use upgrade to get a weapon right now. So that's not what he wants. He will just try to flood some minions on the board. But on the other side, Alex MM just drew upgrade and now can... put the Dread Corsair for free on the board and gets patches. That's a very, very good start for him. And he can apply some pressure to on his, on his opponent. Man. So, now, yeah, the South Sea Captain on board for free. It's not what you want it to be like. And the Bloodstay Cultist and Alex MM really, really getting his... Um, Weapon big and good. Okay, ends off first maze. Can play you can play the crook on elite and kill the taunt. But that not that doesn't bring you give you the, the board control that you want. He only reacts right now and there's another minion that gets charged if you have a weapon, so the weapon play continues for Alex MM and he also has Lira on his hand. So if he gets in range for lethal Oh, and 9 damage. He wants the lethal soon. And next turn, of course, he can play the Arcanite Reaper. So he gets another strong weapon. On the other side, what's the answer for Elegant? He can play the Arcanite Reaper. Which he most likely must, because he does not have anything else. He could play Enzov's first mate. He's in a really bad situation right now. Really, really bad situation. He 
Yep, that's not looking good. He's on three hit points. If he does not get something that is indestructible and has taunt, he's done. And yep, armor up. He can play Sir Finley Mergleton and gets a new hero power and can use that too. Let's see, can he use something of it? No. And he heals himself and upgrades. So he is now on 7 hit points. On board we have 5 damage. We have a 5 damage weapon in his hand. And we have Leroy Jenkins on his hand. So let's see if he reveals the Leroy, he has no chance to do so. The second match goes to Alex MM. And we have a 1-1 one -one draw right now for the two players. So that's Alex MM who wins the second match. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's decent. So we have the Rogue and the Druid on the side of Alex MM. And we have the Warrior and the Rogue on the side of Elegant. Will Elegant switch the deck or will he stay with his Warrior? We saw Alex and M switch, and it actually worked for him very good. But we still have a very aggressive warrior deck for the Italian player, so we will see. We are back in the match. And he switched, so we see Rogue against Warlock. Oh, maybe I misclicked and he has a... See, I just misclicked, so it's not a Druid, it's a Warlock actually. So, I said Warlock while I was typing it in, I think. It's just an overly mistake. Sorry for that. Um, so let's check the two decks of the players. Or the starting hand at least. Elegant. We have the small time, small time Buccaneer. And here is the patches. And of course... Oh, let's see. Can he clear it? Does he want to clear it? He has a lot of coins on his hand. He has cold blood. If he coins... Yeah, but he doesn't want to uh, spend his coins and not get his Edward Van Cleef out. So he could use cold blood so many in combo with... Does he do it? Or does he sacrifice two minions? That's a big question right now. What do you want to do? He also has a questioning adventurer, adventurer on his hand. So that's a big trade situation right now. He goes for the face damage and will let his minions die. I think that's the right decision right now. But of course that gives Alex MM with his Reno Warlock some more time. So we see Bren to open up for the Kazakus for the next turn. And actually, he cannot remove the Bren this turn from the field. So we are going to see a double potion for the Italian... Uh, sorry, for the Russian Warlock. If you've seen Elmania, let's call him Dimitri. So, what's your turn, Elegant? He does nothing, I think. Yes, exactly. But he has a good combo on his hand. He can play the Questing Adventurer, he can put a big Edwin McCleave on the board. But on the other side, we already have an answer, I think. Oh, a shadow board is not a good answer. So let's in a sec have a look at the potions that he created. So he created two five mana potions. And 4 damage to our minions and 7 armor and 5 damage and pull him off and random enemy minion. And when pull him off and random enemy minion is here the big deal because we have a questioning adventure and an advent and cleave on hand who both can get really big. So dealing 5 damage and sheeping one of them is just right. the way you want things to be. So what are we doing? Do we see a questing adventure and already some spells? Or does he want to keep the cards in his hand? No, we see a coin. We see another coin. And coming from this prep. 
Then we see a van of knives, and then the Van Cleef will come out. Most likely. Yes. Okay, so we have a big questing adventure with 7, 7, and uh, let's see, what is it? 12, 12 Van Cleef. That's decent. One of them will get sheeped now, most likely. Yes. And the other one will get killed. So, best turnout possible for LXMM because the rogue just wasted a lot of cards he could have used right next turn or now with the get, get just 10 act auctioneer. And the Reno Lock is in a rather comfortable position for now. And still has the Brand Bronze Beer on board. He now could get an 8 8 out, but he just rather wants to get rid of this spell damage. M Gang Boss. It's decent. It's a good position to be in. So, what's the direction of our rogue? It's interesting to see. He has cold blood twice. That does not work for anything. He could zap a minion, but you don't want to zap a brand bond speed on the hand of the warlock. We don't want him to later be able to trigger anything. Um, so I think Alexander is in a really, really good position here right now. Eviscerate will not work with anything that's on board on a decent level. You can get rid of the Bren or as combo from the Imp, but you still have an 8-8 buddy on the ground. So the 8-8 is a great target for a Zap. And you really, really want to get it from the board as soon as possible. But then you can't play the Gadgets 10 Engineer and the whole rest of the round gets wasted and you're down to 18 hit points. But is there another solution? Not really. You could play one engine Auctioneer and give him cool blood, then you have a big Auctioneer. But that does not work. So, yeah, the Rogue must take the awkward move here and get rid of the Golem, put it on the Warlock's hand back. And the Warlock draws another card. So the golem is back to six. And the warlock is in a really, really good position. He has Strorexus, he has Reno. Can draw another card freely because you know the rogue will not have much damage on his hand. And there's the mountain giant again. So we're getting closer and closer to the lethal range. Okay, maybe the swashbuckle. What will he do? Will he try to get a spell that will may work in this situation? No. He wants to draw cards. Cards? Cards! There they are. And he will eviscerate, most likely a minion, because he cannot afford much damage on the board. Yep. Van of Knives. Oh, he will go face. So he wants... Oh, what? Yeah. The Warlock is in a great position. He just can play Reno as back on 30 and the Rogue will most likely in this second just will die. He most likely will just die. I'm, 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 let's do the math. Mm, no. no. Oh. <laughs> he misclicked. <laughs> okay. He got rid of the Ooh, a random demon from your hand. GG. The rogue will tap out in a second, most likely, because he has no solution to this board. Goodbye. So, actually, this match now is 2-1 to one for our Russian friends. Who just eliminated their own warlock. Puck. Puck. So... For the Russians, left is the Rogue, I think. And the Italians still have the Warrior and the Rogue on the list. And he decides for the Warrior. So we have a very aggressive Warrior deck against... It's Alex M. So let's see what Alex M is playing one kind of Rogue. Ah, okay. It's a normal Miracle Rogue, of course. 
Okay, we have patches on hand for Elegant. That is just the, the worst start you can have as a um, pirate, whatever class you play. No one wants patches on his hand. Fire YX is a good at least counter for the small time Buccaneer. So at least that. And what do we have here? South Sea Captain. Upgrade. Get a big weapon. And play up. Oh. Does he go for the big face? Big face or armor up? Big face. Okay, so the warrior wants to apply pressure. He wants to end this as soon as possible because, of course, he's playing against the Miracle Rogue and you don't want to get the Miracle Rogue, get his big turns. But here's already coin, cold blood, so we have a 5-1 minion on board. And then we have a 6-6 FM1 cleave. Decent. Of course, Patches the Pirate will be able to take out the opponent's patches and he will most likely use the heroic strike to get rid of the Advent Van Cleave. You cannot leave this big body on the board. And then we will see an Zoth's first mate to get a weapon and at least something on the board. And then the board is refreshed. And for the next turn actually the rogue has nothing on board. And not in his hand. Or we see a South Sea Captain which would do... Not much. He can play Captain Patches and then clean the Van Cleef with Patches and Face. But then there's still a 5-1 on board, so I think it would be a mistake to play the Soft Sea Captain here. I think he needs to clean the board. Do it! He does not. Maybe I'm missing something? Okay. So, 15 hit points, and there's a minion on board that can drop you down to 5. And your minion is gone from board, so that was, I think, a, a bad decision in this instance. Um, now the ball is under full control of the rogue, and he already has nothing to counter anything. Nope. He needs to do armor up or he will die. Armor up or dead. Armor up or dead. What now? What do you decide for? Will you die? Dealing with a face. Armor up. Yes. Correct decision in this case. And what do we have? Okay, he gets dropped to one hit point. And the question is what can he what can he get out of his deck right now to, to save him in this situation? And an Arcanite Reaper is not what he needs. So this match is over. So, this best of five goes to LXMM to Moscow. So we know that Moscow is one up now. They win, need to win two matches to win the whole thing. So, I will just see if I have... No, I don't have anyone else in the friend list. Let's see if one of the other players is so nice and will add us the locations did not yet report any results to me. So the other matches should be still up and running. So, let's see if we can get ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. what are they are called? This one. Seven. Let's see if he accepts my friend request. Maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. He did.
And we are going into this match. Please ignore the overlay, the whole thing. I'll just clear this here. Uh, because I don't know the results of this match right now. Let's get rid of here everything. And here everything too. See a leaf on board right now? No. Okay, I can take some time to clear this. I don't know the standing. We just know that this is... Uh, what's his name? So, well, that's all we know for these two. I can fill in the bands actually, so we know at least. Oh, let's. Okay, I'll, I'll just quickly look what the bands are. It's. Kyuga against Kenzi. Kyuga doesn't have his Shaman and Kenzi doesn't have his Warrior. So we have Warrior and Shaman Band. Is this correct? Kenzi with Autos Warrior. Yeah, that's great. Okay, that's the bands we know. And we know something about the decks, maybe. Let's see now. We are in turn 6. We have uh, Jade Root against a mage. A mage is interesting. I haven't seen too many mages in the tournament. So let's see what kind of mage this is. This is Moscow. And we have Kenzi. Kenzi plays Shaman, Rogue, Mage and Warrior. We know that his Warrior is banned. So we have Shaman, Rogue and Mage. And the mage is... Bubbling Book, Ragnaros. Yeah, it's a normal mid range mage. We have no traps, I think. Two fire and portals. Two mana mobs. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty much a standard mage, just. Nothing fishy around here. No Anton Antonidas or something, just Ragnaros is and um, Blood Mage are the only epics he uses. So it's a very classic mage. Okay, the fire and portal. What does he get out of it? Something Mackey, I need to know what it is. Okay, it's a better cry. Okay, just a 5-5. Five, five. Swipe. Together with the Azure Drake, we'll get rid of everything if he attacks with his minion. That's good. I would try to add Kenzie, actually. Sorry for the overlay right now. So we can see his decks too. Okay, we don't really need it. Nourish, let's draw some cards. So the Druid right now is in a very, very good position. He's already at 5-5 five, five for his Jades. He got a Jade Isle, he got a Jade Blossom, he got a Behemoth. So with these three cards, he will get to 8-8. Eight, eight. <laughs> but I will lose soon as uh, Ken Kenzie whispering me as a response to that. Actually, we know that because his hand is just empty. And he only can try to react to stuff. But as we see on the Druid Sand, he's in a very comfortable space. Jade Weemoth, Jade Blossom, and there's an 8 8. And yeah, what can the mage actually do? Does he have a blizzard or something? He gets a babbling book. Okay, maybe he gets a blizzard. That will delay the whole death for one round. Cone of Cold. Okay. Why not? Actually, the best case, but there's the 9 9. Draw another card. Always draw before you do something. Jade Spirit, Living Roots, Hero Power, and he will get rid of this minion. So, no more freezing. So, maybe another bubbling book, or does he have a Cabalist Tome in his deck? He does not play Cabalist Tome. Uh, another bubbling book. Let's see if you can get the Blizzard. Oh, will we see the Concede? You cast 
cast a spell. I want to cast a spell. <laughs> Mirror image. Uh, but that's 43 damage on the board for our druid. He pings himself and concedes. That's the showmanship that we want to see. So, we don't know what the score of the match is. That's the big question here. Either the chat will inform me that the match is just over, or the players will start the next one. We see that they discontinue the match. And... Boop, boop, boop. Meliodor added me. I think that's a player two in the tournament. Is that correct? Let me check. I think that's the last player of Rome. Yes. What a nice guy. Let's go into the last match. That's that's that service. That guy deserves a pat on his back. So, uh, and again, the bands and everything is wrong. So let's make this one. Leodor and this one Meno and I just remove the bands and we'll concentrate on the game let's forget about overlay right now except for this up there Rocket Meltdown and this up there Meltdown and of course if you are near these locations I would if I were you go there and have a nice time I've seen pictures the guys in Moscow and the guys in Rome are prepared for you. So, once again, I want to at least check the decks of the players to see what we have. It's, but it's most likely, as we can see, something very aggressive on both sides. Meliodor, this is his shaman. And yes, it's the normal... Patches, yeah, that is who I actually I didn't see the patches for the first second, I was confused. It's a normal shaman as we know him, as we have seen him through the whole season. And on the other side for Moscow, Omeno only plays aggro decks too, I think. But he has a priest, and the priest wasn't banned, if I'm correct, so maybe we're gonna see a priest. Priest is always nice to see. Oh, the priest was banned. <laughs> okay, so we won't see the priest. But we see Meliodor in a very, very good position, having four minions on the board, three totems, but doesn't matter. Four minions on the board, having the Flame Tongue totem in his hand, having two more cards, and actually a Jade Claw, which will overload, I think. And Jade Claw is overload, right? Yeah, it should be. Um, so the Tunnel Truck also gets triggered once, and the Warrior on the other side does have nothing. A weapon. But that's it. And the weapon versus a taunt is not what you want. So, Flame Tank Totem stays on hand. That's okay. He doesn't need to apply too much pressure right now. Oh, Mano. Oh. What did you draw? I don't have you in my friend list. Okay. But we always see what he play right now. Bukanir. That's good. But the Bukanir will get cleared. By a 1 1. And in combo with the Flame Tank Totem, oh man, it chooses death. So, that is what I would have done too in this situation. It uh, was really hopeless for that to, to uh, end in a good way for him. Empty hand, no, po no possibility to draw more cards. And a full board for the Shaman. So, let's see. Are they done too? Hanging out in the main menu. I will just ask it done. That would be... Would have been a fast match. Okay. So, Meliador 1-3-2. So, actually, we have our winners for the third place. Rome. The Red Star Gaming team, all three players, they did a tremendous run through the tournament. The Moscow guys actually too. But in the end, uh, Rome, as 2000 years ago, reigned supreme over Moscow. Those are alternative facts. 
Um, yeah, they won. They actually won 50 euro, so it's some money for the players. I don't know why, how how uh, expensive beer is in Italy or wine or whatever they drink, uh, but I think they will get some drinks off that from that in the Red Star gaming bar to celebrate their victory. And of course, every one of you three will get a mouse from Rocat. A mouse pet by Rocat, like this. Always turn it right around. And a headset by Rocat. Yeah. I like it. I like it very much. So, and now we are finally done with the first Fireside Gathering Brawl 2017. The first Fireside Gathering Brawl actually ever between 15 locations in Europe. Uh, we once again thank our sponsors on the side where my microphone is. So it's this side. These sponsors, Meltdown and Rocket. You made the prices possible. Thank you very much. We thank our team. I thank my team. I thank everyone who was involved here with building everything up, building the studio, building, um, administrating the tournament, actually uh, Dancing Pony and Shana. Thank you too. Um, those two volunteers volunteered for us once again. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, to our casters, to and Harlequin and Nuraika, who came here to cast with us for the tournament, who just drove over 100 kilometers, actually over 300 or 500, uh, two to 300 kilometers, I think, to be with us here to cast the tournament for free. No one gets here anything for it. It's, it's really amazing to see that you guys are dedicated to help us to make this thing big. And... The biggest thanks, of course, goes to all of these people over there. All of you. Actually, one bar is missing here still. It's um, Viareggio, who uh, joined us in the last second to replace Durban over there, or Luan, who also dropped out. Um, these two couldn't get the players together in the last second, so we had replaced them. But with the help of our Italian friends uh, from Gaming Arena, so Big thank you again to uh, to you two. We got up to 15 locations again. It's really amazing to work with all of you guys. So, last words. Stay tuned for everything. What uh, everything for the time to come. We have some amazing plans for the future. We will hopefully make this again in some kind together. Maybe also with uh, the. Commonwealth of the Independent States in Russia, there's a very, very big Hearthstone Fires Gathering community. And uh, let's say the fireplace above me is only one of many, many locations that uh, work there very close in the Hearthstone community. We have many, many locations in Italy for a uh, gaming arena who are there, the Planet Bars and Italy. Italy has also a very, very big Hearthstone scene, so we're looking for, uh, forward to work together with them. With them. We had four, four meltdowns in the actual tournament here. Uh, it was also amazing to work with them, and we hope that we just can grow this into something bigger together with all of them, and of course, all of you who watched this tournament. Thank you, and goodbye.